Let's talk about dating preferences. This video was so good, you must watch it, and I want to branch off and talk about how it relates to fat phobia and dating. A lot of times when people are asked, why don't you date fat people, trans people, people of color, whatever, they will say, it's just a preference. I'm just not attracted to them. I can't make myself be attracted to someone I'm just not attracted to. The implication here being that preferences are innate, unchanging, and completely independent of any outside factors or societal norms. And therefore, that they are inherently unproblematic. Like, it's not fat phobia, it's just who I am. I can't help it. But I think it's actually a lot more complicated than that. Our desires are not immune to social conditioning. Although, of course, you can't change your sexual orientation, when we see a certain type of body glorified, praised, and labeled as desirable in media from the time that we can even process those messages, it's not going to not have an impact on us. And the fact is, at least anecdotally, lots of fat people report being desired by many people. But the piece that isn't there is the social acceptance. And again, that's also true for other marginalized identities. Maybe you are sexually attracted to fat people, but you can't see yourself in a romantic relationship with one because you've never seen that replicated in media. Or maybe you love a fat person, but you're too afraid of what your friends and family would say if you introduced them. Or you're too afraid of what it would say about you to be with someone who is lower on the desirability totem pole. 